Hey. Hey, y'all. Hello. Hey, y'all. Hey, family and friends. <laughs> Hello, Little welcome family. to Pillow Talk with the T. We welcome you. I am Kwa. I'm Anya. And of course, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yes, let's get this party started, honey. Yes, okay. we had to. Absolutely. Yes. So, you know. Today is a good day, even though it's raining on my end. How the weather on y'all end? How the weather doing on y'all end? Child, it's been ugly. I'm been mm. sleeping all day until just okay. And I was like, let me get up and start getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> but it has been ugly, child. Oh, what about you, Ash? We know just you ain't. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. She got this. Like, <laughs> I'm in tank top and flip flops all day. Oh, that's what's up. That's what I wish I'm in I tank top and flip flops. I feel bad for y'all. Why? Yeah, you guys feel bad for us? Where are you at? Because y'all got that nasty weather. I need to come over there. I'm in the wrong place. Come on, honey. Come on. <laughs> I do not come know on, that. honey. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's all good. This is whether you could get a lot done, snuggle under your blanket, still get a lot of shit done. It's all good. Right. Yeah. I call it, it just God tears washing the bullshit away. That's it. Yep, that's true. Amen. So, but Amen. yeah, tonight, you know, we welcome you guys to pull a talk with the tea. And we are here about to spill and give you the tea. As you guys could see, the topic, the tea is, can insecurities ruin future relationships? Yes, huh. honey. <laughs> so, so what you guys think about this title? Can insecurities actually ruin future relationships? I feel like I'm, 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 new, I'm new to this. I feel like you can, then again, it can. I feel like, you know, I'm. I'm in between. I'm in between. I'm torn. Mm. Why? I feel like, okay, so yes, it can because, you know, like the insecurities can get in the way of what you're trying to build with that new person. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like, no, because that person may be the one to build you up out of those insecurities. You know what I'm saying? Like you may have needed that person to help you get over those insecurities. Like that would have been your blessing. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, even though like, you know, you may be pushing them away. And show them a bomb like, cover. Oh, I ain't gonna know where I'm gonna fight for you. Yeah. And that's what we need. That's what we need. If you do have insecurities or you are someone, you know, who has insecurities, you need somebody like that. Yeah. That's why I say I'm in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I definitely... I definitely end up saying that um, I I feel that insecurities can ruin future relationships in regards of, I would say, relation. when I say insecurities ruin it, it's two different types of insecurities that could ruin a relationship. It's insecurity that could ruin, ruin a relationship from the fact of you coming into a relationship from bringing old baggage and old bullshit from that relationship. Mm -hmm. And you sit in there basically punishing that current that person, person yep, that's um, who you currently basically with. You're, you're punishing that person, um, mm -hmm. you know, for what that previous person did. Basically, yeah. they cheated on you, they lied to you, whatever the bad, bad or wrong did, you basically bring in that insecurity, which we call baggage into right. that current relationship and you punishing that person for what that previous person did. And it's constantly you saying, yeah, like, oh my God, I can't trust you. Oh my God, where you at? Mm -hmm. Where you going? What you doing? Mm -hmm. Who you with? Like all the different types of things. And then there's another insecurity of the fact that you could just be insecure in yourself. Like right. you could carry insecurities within and you bring that into the relationship and you end up basically not secure about yourself. You questioning mm -hmm. every single thing that the person is doing. You yeah. wondering. And that could be draining as hell. Because at first, it seemed like it's kind of cute. But then you you constantly keep getting banged and banged and hammered yeah. and hammered. 
and it's like, okay, come on now. This is too much. Are you a negative Nancy? Are you a negative Harry? Right. That gets aggravating. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that all day. I already got enough shit going on within my life. Exactly. I don't want, you know, like you to drain me down. You supposed to be uplifting me. True. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what you what you think, Ash? Like in regards to insecurities, can it actually ruin future relationships? Well, yeah, it can actually um, ruin future relationships because, like you said, it gets annoying. A person don't want to have to, you know, like I have to sit back and deal with what the last person did to you. So now I have to keep on reassuring you, reassuring you. And it's like, Dad, wasn't the last couple of times enough for you where I was able to prove you wrong and prove me right that I wouldn't do anything? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes like a person not be might not be happy within themselves. So now in order to build they self up, they gonna they gonna try to bring you down. That's that's part of being insecure as well. Mm -hmm. They'll find ways to talk down on you or make you feel beneath them because yeah. they're insecure within themselves. Yeah. So yeah. it could definitely ruin it. And yeah. on the flip side, help you as well. I mean, like, you might be blessed and find that person that's actually going right. on to keep reassuring. Storing right. you when mm -hmm. probably be like the counselor for you in your life to help you get through whatever insecurities is like for us as women, like some of us or some women don't like their bodies. So the man might be like, Oh no, babe, you look good. This is the way you mm -hmm. are. I love you. You don't need fix anything let's go to the gym together but then you might have some men that be like oh girl you fat as hell or her man oh you you, you know you you ain't fine like you, you used to be you know mm -hmm. so, so it's just a lot with that it, it it can ruin relationship but it all depends on who you're dealing with it it, right. it all it just depends on, on if that yeah. person willing to help you get through it or not yeah. all right so did you guys ever because i could in regards That's to that when you touched on that. that when you touched on that right you probably end up hearing us a couple of seconds it's behind because person, you, definitely you, that you're you dealing know. with you breaking up ash and you might hear us a couple of seconds behind um, but just on what you had touched on and what you said in regards to the insecurities, like for instance. Okay. okay. So even like with the, in regards to the, um, the insecurities, what you had just touched on and right. what you had said about the fact of, um, people, um, like the guy, was well, like his like his physical form and not want to touch anything. And I say in regards to that any guy that basically say that a woman that he wants her to change something, I feel like he's insecure within himself. So he's pushing right. his insecurity onto her because that's something that he probably want to change. Because my thing is, even if, like for instance, I even told my son, my son is 19 years old, and I, and I created a dialogue with my son that he could come and speak to me about anything, and if there's some topics that he can't, go to somebody that you can't trust. But this was one topic that he came to me, he was like, Mom, um, there's a way that you should speak to women. Because when you talk about certain things about a woman, those are sensitive topics, like for instance, yeah. her weight. Her okay. body image or anything. Okay. You is a way that you have to come. You have to say it in a respectful, mm -hmm. in a deliberate, in a caring way. And this is a 19 year old thing. So I really feel good. Oh, you gonna be so good. <laughs> you gonna be so good to these bitches. They don't even deserve me. You sure about that? Because he's I'm a positive. I listen, know. Let me say, listen, I'm positive because listen, he sat there and said with his current girlfriend. He said, Mom, 
I'm always hearing her complain about something. So he was like, for me, it's not the same. Well, you need to lose weight. He said, my the approach that I take is saying, hey, babe, how about come to work out with me one day? Right. Or can we, or, you know what? I want you to work, I want us to work out together. Right. That's you know what I'm saying? Do. But of course, he could give the invitation but it may not be the fact that she may accept she may take it. But right. guaranteed me, as a young woman, as a young lady, as a woman, she hears that he's caring enough about her to say, okay, babe, I want you to come. She may not accept it, but she hears it, and she knows that the invitation is out there anytime when she's ready to hop on it. Right. And that's why I think, especially with insecurities, um, People see that in whatever relationship you on, they see that. Mm -hmm. They may not touch on it because, again, if you have such a, a great type of human being as a, a gentleman as my son is, they're not going to directly come out for and say things. They they like, you know what? That's a sensitive topic, and I'm not touching on it. Right. So, so you have to realize that you have to deliberate and alter it in a de delicate way, a caring way, and just. Um, it's called like a camouflage thing. By him having an invitation to give her and to come and work out with him, that's like, I hear you, I hear what you're saying about yourself, and since I do love you and care about you, how about you go to the gym? Come with me, I want to work out. And like I said, any man that basically do end up saying something about changing a woman, I feel like this insecurity he's having within himself. He wants something to change within him. And it's not really about her because it's a way to do that. Yeah, that's true. But then again, you also just have some some niggas who just don't give a fuck. Like dumb raunchy, no good ass, fuck boy ass niggas who don't give a fuck about nothing. <laughs> so they're gonna be the ones to come out and just say, like, bitch, you fat. You feel me? But then again, that's when you have to, you know, hit choose. If you want to deal with something like that or not, now exactly. if you want to deal with that, go ahead, go ahead, girl. Get that. Yeah. Then again, you also just have, you know, you just have to. Yeah, yeah. It but it definitely exactly. is a certain way, because especially like you said, like if they would take the initiative to come to you and say that, that would mm -hmm. like you know like that makes you feel good inside. Like damn, not only are you listening to me, but you're trying to help me. So now, yeah, who you know, phone, like I feel like who phone is that? Who phone is making that noise? It's like a clickling sound. I think it's Ashley. I hear clickling, but I don't. You hear it? That's still. better. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah, so. so yeah, but yeah, so I, so I definitely. Says, you know, um, definitely the approach on it and how they say it because it could make you, you know, depend on how you feel. Like it can make you feel good. Like, okay, since he's listening to me, let me actually take the initiative to go and do it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, let's basically take a look and see what the people in the comments say. I do. Um, Hello, you guys. Welcome. Welcome. We love it. Hey. We love it. Yes. So, we do see here that... um. Sierra. Sierra say... Um, My girl, Sierra. Come on with it, girl. <laughs> Come on with it. You say I agree absolutely. You may have a man that helps you that helps you up up mm -hmm. out of your insecurities. Then you may have a man that can't deal with it. That's right. true. That's true. Right. Cause you did you did touch on that and you did say that, you know, in a way that there's some people that's caring enough that will help you with the insecurities. Mm -hmm. I can say you gotta be very that's a thin line. You gotta very be that's a broad thin line because I say that because even though you will be the person to help with, with them say some insecurities, you not you not a musician, you not guy, right. and it, it becomes even more a little more draining to the fact that you start to be like, okay. Damn, I'm motivating you. I'm inspiring you. I'm giving you inspiration. I'm giving you wisdom. I'm giving you the, the nuggets of, you know, putting some golden nuggets into you and some affirmations every morning. Because me, personally, I wake up every single day with a meditation. I thank God first for allowing me to wake up to see another day. Mm -hmm. I wake up with a meditation. And then I also do affirmations. You know what I'm saying? 
So I think people should be doing that. But see, is is at a point where you can't be that person, person, a hundred percent, because then that person start relying on you. Right. I've been in a situation like that, and I was like, "Yo, this is too damn draining. Like, I can't. Like, I'm giving you all the. I'm I'm almost. I'm giving you everything except for eating, breathing, shitting for you, and walking. I get what you're saying. How much more can I do? You want me to walk it, walk it, and breathe for you too? I can't do that. Yeah. So, but then I feel um, like at that point, that's when it leads more to more so from like insecurities to more so, you know, it's deeper now. You get what I mean? Like, if you like, okay, of course, everybody has insecurities. Mm -hmm. I don't give like, I don't know, not one person who don't say that they don't have like certain things about themselves. Exactly. Something that they wish that they could change about themselves. Exactly. It's to a point where, you know, like, it's levels to it to where, okay. But then I don't like this about myself, but it's not something that like I'm gonna complain about every day, or it's not something that I'm gonna, you know, cry about every day or be mad or upset about every day. Then you have people who have the insecurities that can lead to an actual like mental illness. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like depression, anxiety. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now I feel like okay, it's deeper than that now because if you're at like if you're that low within yourself. It's mm. deeper than insecurities. Yeah, yeah, and that and at that point, I just feel like that if that's the case, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. Right. You should at that point, you should be you should be like really at the point where you should be Focusing working on, on yourself. yourself. Right. And if it takes counseling or therapy, because listen, I am a black person that I do believe in therapy. Therapy. Yeah. God can fix everything. He will fix half, or he can't fix all. Right. And guarantee you, he created. A degree for people to be have the gift to get a degree right. that's called a therapist, psychiatrist, and a counselor. So mm-hmm. you the people is that old method of throwing under sweeping it under the rug? It does it not does work not in place. Yes. It does not you will go insane to it the does fact does that help. you'll do some serious damage to yourself. And it'll start eating you alive. Exactly. It will. It will. So, but it's um, bad because like in the black culture, that's not. It's not like that's something that's really not, you know, spoken on. Like they don't tell you, oh, you know, it's okay for you to go see kids. No, if you come in and you say that you have depression or bad anxiety or you schizophrenic, they oh you crazy. Mm-hmm. They automatically, oh, you crazy, or oh, you'll be all right, or you'll be okay. Like therapy isn't something that's discussed often or often yeah. enough in the black culture. Exactly. And that is not because especially um with the fact of so many people, especially with your blue, suffering. Yeah, it's so many people suffering. It's also from the blueprint that you come from. If you end up coming from a blueprint that they feel like, oh well, you know what? It'd be okay. Just sleep on it or don't worry about it, you know, or, or you know, God this or God that, whatever. And it's cool that he will do this much and he's not gonna do everything. So, but yes, yeah, so also we see our cousin in the building. Hey, Shatoyo. Hey, <laughs> So she said a person can uplift you just to bring you back down that's as true. hell though. As that's true. That's true. That's, true. that's, that's true. true. That's definitely true. And that's, that's when you have to in and you have to realize a difference of Someone's Someone being good for you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or not. Yep. So have you girls ever experienced to the fact that you either was in a relationship with the insecure person that was bringing old baggage from a previous relationship into like being with you? Please speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, child. Yes, honey. Honestly, I don't. Now, I wouldn't say insecurities as far as, like, the baggage. Like, there was insecurities in other aspects, but not, mm. like, as far as, like, the baggage part. You mm. know, like, if they was insecure within themselves over, like, you know, certain situations that they, you know, were going through. Yeah. And, you know, stuff that they've been through. But mm-hmm. it wasn't, like, more so of a baggage thing. It was more so insecurities within, like, themselves. Type of thing. Well, what about you, Ash? Yeah, mine was more so of a baggage thing. Um, whatever whatever happened in the past with this person. Can you hear it? Yeah, you can't hear her. 
I can't hear you. Can the audience hear me? Can you guys hear Ash? Give us a thumbs up if you guys can hear Ash. Okay, so okay. it was more of a um baggage thing. I guess whatever happened in the past with this person. I had to keep on reassuring the person that we not this, you know, like we're not the same. Put it like that. Mm -hmm. And just prove that person wrong. You know, like whatever you're thinking I'm out here doing, I'm really not Maybe. doing. Yeah, try to come out, go out and come back in. Cause you can't hear her. So I don't know why I can hear her, but you can't hear her. You can hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, so try to just go in and come back out. Okay, see. Let me come back. Okay. So you say yours was more as a sort of baggage. Yeah, bringing that baggage, bringing that baggage, and 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 I I I I really started to feel like I'm repairing something that I did not damage. So mm -hmm. I started feeling real frustrated. Like, why am I going through this? Like, why am I sitting up here? trying to repair something that I didn't damage at all. And I don't like that because now I got to, I, I felt like I was putting pieces to, to a puzzle that I never even broke up. So it was real annoying. And to that point, I was just done with it. I was just done with it. I'm like, you have no, me, me you have no business even talking. Me and you have no business even dealing with each other. Mm -hmm. Whatever happened to you in the past, it, it it destroyed you. You need to seek counseling. But see, a lot of us feel like we don't need counseling. Right. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is we're supposed to put on our Superman or Superwoman mm -hmm. hat and keep it moving. That, I, that's not how life works. Right. We, like, some okay some of us really need okay. to admit that we need counseling, need counseling. especially yeah. when you start feeling like you're not good enough. Yeah, because the insecurities come with you not feeling you you're not good enough um that you can't find anyone else so we constantly sitting back now i'm not saying everybody i'm just saying certain yeah. situations yeah. you start feeling like you're not good enough so you sitting back dealing with bullshit that you already know you don't have to deal mm -hmm. with just mm -hmm. like our last episode when anya said she she thought about hey I, I i could get me a man that could kiss the ground that i walk on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of course we can but some of us we sit back and we deal with bullshit that we had no business dealing with with, with a yeah. man and yeah. it is men out there that will lift you up that appraise you that kiss you show you yeah. the most utmost highest respect as a queen exactly. but then again you got some other females like that that all plays a part in insecurity. Mm -hmm. I'm insecure. I, I'm gonna deal with this because I don't think I can right. get I'm better. Yeah. I don't think I can find better. anybody better. Yeah. And I'm just tired, so I'm just gonna sit back and deal with this. Mm -hmm. All of that plays a part in being insecure. And you just got like you you sitting there putting pieces to a puzzle that's already broken up. That's mm -hmm. like a five million piece puzzle. No, honey. You got to get up and go find some counseling and pray it and the rest of that stuff and, and, and leave that alone. Exactly. That, that's a very dangerous... Being insecure can be very dangerous. Because yeah. somebody can get yeah. hurt. Mm -hmm. Being yeah. insecure can go a very long way. I call that when you sit there and say that people just sit there and just accept the bullshit. I don't think they accept the bullshit. I think they're just immune to the toxic shit. A people be that's immune true. to right. a certain situation. That's true. For some yeah. reason, I don't know what it is. It's like that mentality of like, if I'm dealing with this and this, and now he's doing this and she doing this for me. Oh, it got to be love, and it got to be this, and it's it's not because I call it. I always say it like it is. If you don't know better, you won't be able to do or to accept or appreciate that. So. Right. And I think that's what it. I don't think they accept the bullshit. They they just immune to the bullshit. Right. Yeah, you immune to it and you accepting it because you're going along with it. You're immune to that shit, so you don't know no better. So you accepting it. But once your ass get unimmune, you won't accept it anymore if you can find your way out. Because sometimes mm -hmm. that so gets drunk. so deep exactly. to the point where it, it's, it's no just the yeah. point of no return on that. Yeah. Yeah. But. 
Yeah. And we do have some comments in the um some comments from our viewers. Um, we have one that um Felicia said that's not true. Black people themselves put it under the rug. And that's what exactly I say. I say black people, especially some majority in our black community, they put the they brush it under the rug. Absolutely. Especially but all the kids that's that's your that's blueprint, what we they will. And then I say, um, and don't and they don't want to take their meds and seek counseling. And that's what we say. Some people don't want to seek counseling because some people just choose mm -hmm. to see the Black, the black community and people of color, they sit there and seek, realize that they don't want to seek counseling, therapy, or see a psychiatrist because you want to know what they feel like it labeled them as them as being, being crazy. crazy. Right, right. Because not. this is all what goes back to what we, like, this is how we were raised. This is what we were taught. This is what we were mm -hmm. seeing. So mm -hmm. we, have, we don't know no better. Like, until mm -hmm. we have our parents or, you know, whoever loves us or appreciates us enough to sit there and tell us that, we don't mm -hmm. know no better. So, of course, exactly. we're going to do or go with what we was taught and what we grew up knowing. And see, with that point right there is that I end up figuring that out at the at the age of 30-something. Is that, yes, we were basically taught and raised this way. We have this blueprint and seeing what our parents done and our parents' parents done. But when you become a, a woman or a man of a particular of your own, age, yeah. guess what? The difference of what, what, how I was raised and sex, because now you're a grown ass person, you can read sex, read right. the facts of what's true now compared to how you was raised. Because then you be like, then a light bulb will come on, like, oh, okay, got it. That's the way I was raised, but that's not the way how it, it's happening for you, right? Exactly. So it just is. It listen out like I always say, knowledge is power. People use it, Please. right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we have another viewer that says sometimes your insecurities can ruin your next relationship because of what you got done to you. So um, right. we'll put you on the next person, not cool. You have to give give it time mm -hmm. and begin to trust again. Absolutely, because you and that goes back to even our last episode when we say don't rush into a ne another relationship. relationship. Yep. You have to sit there and take time. That's when I even sit there and say I don't allow people to rush into another relationship. Take to, that's that's the process of self evaluation for yourself, self care, mm -hmm. self love at that time. Right. And that's mm -hmm. don't put off on what he did, what she did, what they right. did. No. Okay, you know all that already. We got the Holy Ghost, you, your mother, your father, your family, everybody you complained about this man or woman about. They already know what he did. So now it's time for to figure out what you may didn't do or did, did, did do wrong. Now, what you could have done better. You know what I'm right. saying? But see, people don't never want to blame, but put the wrong one well, on themselves. Right, right. Like, right. I tell anybody mm -hmm. in, in my village, if I'm doing something wrong, please call my shit out. Because instance, for instance, me and Ashley had a conversation. I was about to make a comment. She was like, oh, got to stop you right there. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like that because the thing is, she not going to sit there and have me sit into some bullshit knowing the fact that, no, because you ain't do it that way. You did that shit too. Right. So I don't know if you got it. I don't know. Maybe you blacked out that day. But I remember. And, right. and and I understand that, and I and I appreciate that. So, but what you need to just people need to reflect on themselves and and peel the layers. Trust me, it will be scary, but take one day at a time. It will be okay because you will actually mm -hmm. probably learn so much more about yourself and actually love so much about yourself. And you can love your flaws and ugly and the bullshit all about it yourself too. Yeah. Just as long as you working on it to do something about it. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Then yeah. we have your girl Sierra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she said, Dad, Sierra, this a, this a book, Sierra? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Go ahead. Break it down. She said, Please. I was in a relationship where my boyfriend was insecure about my son and his oh. dad asking why I'm still talking to him, I guess. Like, what nigga? That's my son's father. You sound dumb, <laughs> but he had trust issues coming into our relationship. I realized 
and he felt like the baby father had one up on him because we had a child together. I couldn't deal with it, so I left. See, that's another insecurity, especially if you had children with a previous situ- a guy, and then you dating another guy. Woo! So yeah, but 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 uh, you know what, I, Sierra? I really want to ask you what caused him to feel that way. Was y'all on the phone too long? Was you and this baby father meeting up, you know, in uh, places and staying at that place too long? What made this man feel his way? Mm-hmm. Right. So, but basically, so sometimes, he was jealous of the baby you father. You know that. I mean, it can be insecure. The guy. But was some, jealous of the baby father. He was insecure. Yeah. Of the baby yeah. Okay. Why? Because he didn't want he didn't want Sierra talking to the baby father. Yes, yeah, she said that when they basically she, she said insecurities about my son and his dad. So he was insecure about the son and the dad. Oh, okay. Oh, then he so said he then he was asking why I'm still so cool with the baby daddy. Uh, oh, they must have like they was having a long conversation. Also, she asked why y'all even still talk. So that lets me. Oh, oh, hell no. They got to talk. Why? Right. They have a child. That's they got to talk. That's what I'm saying. So that lets you know what his mindset is. So his mindset, what he see around his environment is that if you don't deal with the baby daddy no more, everything is shut off. He's not used to seeing the fact that because we're not together, that we still going to have an open dialogue and communication. We're going to speak about our child. Or there's some people that still is cool with their baby daddy. Everybody don't hate their baby daddy and baby mother. You know what I'm saying? They really don't. That's true. Some people have a d- dynamic situation that works for them, and it may sit there and seem out of the uh, norm for some people. But get get guess what? You should say, you know what? This is a unique, different situation I never right. seen before. And you know what? I I could accept it, but it may take me some time. But I'm not used to seeing it. If he would have talked to her. Maybe it maybe it would have been better, but he going off like that. I could just imagine how that conversation was going on. Yeah, because like, mm, I know she mm. was like, "Nigga, what? what the fuck you mean? What the fuck you talking about?" When I'm talking, <laughs> hello, right? Because excuse, why? Like, I have to talk. There's no not talking to him. Like that just sounds dumb, and I feel like that's people are like that's one thing people don't realize like if you can't handle the fact that somebody has a child you just not I mean, can you see my comment person. at the end what comment no oh i see it you cannot hear me check your text y'all can't hear me i can hear you oh i'm over here yelling sorry uh yeah i can't hear her <laughs> oh so you so she can't hear you See, this is the same. I try to come, try to come in and then go back out like how I did. And then watch, I'm not gonna be able to hear y'all. See, we sorry, y'all. This what took us so long to get on because <laughs> we was having some technical difficulties. As y'all can see, we don't know what's going on. So you can hear me now. She probably can't. So, yes, so we do apologize, you guys. So, as you can see, as our show continues to revolve and become the highlight that it is, we have a little technical difficulties, but things will, you know, it's, it's life. But we work through it because we're yeah. masters. Yeah. So, but yeah, so, but she did respond to Ashley and she said, no, he will come pick, um, pick up my son. Mm-hmm. And we would be laughing about something my baby father did. He hated that my mom was still cool with him. Damn! When he was in the area, he was stopped by to spend time with my baby. Not too long, though. And he would be mad. Okay, so he basically, like I said, he was upset because you guys still had a di- still had a dialogue. Yeah, still had a yeah, you know, connection. Still communicating. So he just don't want to deal with nobody who has kids, period. Because exactly. you hear us now? Now I think probably behind on that on the thing. Can you hear us, Ash? Oh yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. 
So I Am did I up to speed. No, not really. Oh yeah. So, um, but Sierra did respond to your question that when you asked her what was it that um made him feel that feel that way. So she did say, No, he will come pick up my son and we will be laughing about something my baby, my baby, my baby did. So I guess something that the dev child did. Mm -hmm. Um and he hated that her, her mom was still cool with the baby father. When he was in the area, he was stopped by to spend time with my baby. Not too long, though, and he would be mad. See, when he, when he just stopped by, he let you know, Sierra, before he come or when he just pop up and stop by? That's a question I definitely have to ask. Because now that pop up, not the fact you're not my man, I don't care if you ain't my baby daddy. Yeah. I don't know, like, mm. We still but have to have a lot. Like what it sounds like is like it was something, you know, like he would like let her know. This is what it sounds like. He would let her know and like he would come by or whatever. And just, you know, like, oh, hey, I'm around. I'm going to I'm gonna come see you or whatever. Which is nothing like there's nothing wrong with that. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, he just wasn't her boyfriend or her mm -hmm. ex-boyfriend. Wasn't mature enough to deal with the fact that she still had a good relationship with her father. So like she said, he had an insecurity within himself. Like, yeah. he does not need to deal with nobody who has kids. And that's, I mean, like, I don't know what happened with him, you know, as far as him, but probably something happened on his end to the point where, you know, he probably was cheated on before in mm -hmm. one of his past relationships. Yeah. And that's probably why he's like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like when people have insecurities within relationships, it's, it was something that happened in their prior relationship. That yeah. makes them second guess the actions that's going on now. You get what I'm saying? Like exactly. people just don't wake up and say, Oh, I'm gonna be jealous of this person, or you know, you can't do this and that. Something had happened mm -hmm. to them in their prior relationship exactly. to the point where now they carry in that in their next relationship and mm -hmm. they're in their next relationship. Yeah. So, yeah. He, so, he so she did him. say she said that she said um yeah um he knew not to pop up um right. she would play that okay right and then there's some people in the comments I guess responded to her as well saying um he was straight jealous period period that's what it was <laughs> and he then there's some people, two people in here saying they actually have the same situation that Sierra. What Sierra had dealt with. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Speak a yeah. little. The two, the two people that have the same similar situation as Sierra, please speak about it. We want to touch on right. that too. Like how like what's, what's going on? What's like how is that? How like is this actually exactly like Earth or some simulation or I mean similarities? Um Right. Give us exactly what it is that's what's going on because we would like to be all up in y'all <laughs> Okay, well, look, what T said, what T. Let us know. Ooh, but yeah, I definitely, I definitely feel like that's what it is. Like, people that either develop insecurities when they get in a relationship or, you know, afterwards when the relationship is done and over and they look back on things, then they start developing insecurities. So, mm -hmm. I mean, for the people who, you know, for the most part, it sounds like the person they with went through some shit. Yeah. And now they, uh, like they said, like we said, they haven't took time to themselves to understand. Because I feel like unless you, like, actually understand that everybody is not the same, you're going to always have those insecurities. Like, you literally have to be mature enough to understand, like, okay, Tom may have did this shit to me, but Jerry's somebody completely fucking different. So me yeah. and Jerry can have a ball, even though time fucked up. Me and Jerry, we can have a good old time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like until you like mature enough to understand that, them insecurities are just gonna keep building up, and they're gonna they're gonna keep being there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And this right, this comment right here from Crystal, where she say, um, or they don't want to be alone, so they stay and put up with the bullshit. I guess that's, that's what we, um. What Ashley was saying, yeah, because that's another thing too. That's a lot a of people insecurity. do not like you alone. Mm -hmm. That's and a I big insecurity. Like a lot of people don't yeah. like starting over. 
a lot of people don't like starting over, you know, like they've been with the same person for so long, so they get comfortable with that person. And it's like, instead of like wasting my time trying to go through the whole process of getting to know this person or mm -hmm. talking to this person again, or, you know, trying to figure out what this person like and what they don't like, I'm going to just go back to what I know and go back to what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's a shame because you get that, you know, to it as well. Mm -hmm. And you get immune to it just like just like Qua said, you get immune to that. You going back to what you know. Like you're 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 immune to the fuckery now. And now you're not even you're not trying to get to know anybody. Now you're not even trying to find out what life is like on the other side of the, the road. Because you actually probably can find somebody that's way better than what you're dealing with, but you're not giving yourself that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. Listen, and that's and to me, I feel like you shouldn't be immune or stay in no bullshit because you're scared to be alone. And I always like I always say alone don't mean lonely. So tap into right. that. Right. Tap, like seriously. That's true. It doesn't mean lonely. It just means yeah, cause yeah. right, because people think just because they don't see you with anyone that you're not sleeping with nobody at night that you're you're lonely right. they, they, oh, you're they, they sit there and mm -hmm. laugh at your situation and think you're lonely but you're really the clown because you're sleeping with the me every night <laughs> exactly exactly listen but see, people see people doing people doing that a lot. That's even in marriages. What? <laughs> I missed that part. Give me a brief uh, rundown. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> well, I gotta cut this camera off. Everybody like, like my last. We we ain't hear you. What you say, Ash? <laughs> we, we she can't hear me. It. That's what it is. That's why she was quiet. Yeah, like, I'm getting. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh my, give me a run back. My thing's so delayed that it's funny. Everybody just looks. Funny yeah, your me. thing is so behind. So we like, okay, we, is it coming? Is it coming? Is it gonna get? <laughs> Yo, I'm Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I hate, I hate the boondocks for real. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna call Spectrum up and tell they asses to give me a refund on my damn internet. Oh, they got to because, honey, they are. I'm tell them give me a refund. And I'm surprised that Spectrum because when I was in Texas, I had Spectrum and it was amazing. So I'm really oh, surprised. Oh, in Texas. So, ah, uh, yay. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not. Know. I didn't hear it earlier when she said it. No, she's not in Texas. I was in Texas. Oh. 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 I'm so, like, oh, oh, but okay. yeah, no, I'm just, you know, Kanye yeah, is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was echoing. <laughs> no, no, we, no, we not, no, we, her, her location disclosed and that is going to be undisclosed. Like, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to be in Texas. No. Like, oh, I'm going to be in Texas. I'm going to be in the bowl. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. So, our viewers, listen, our viewers are having a conversation. You guys, listen, what's going on up in these comments? We would like to tea. Give us the tea. tea, tea. What's they saying? Listen, so listen, they say um, he was a cheater. Okay, so Sierra, Sierra, listen, Sierra, you've been going through a lot of things in your lifetime, honey. Okay, like, we've been, been going through it, honey. One day, honey. Yes. We got okay, so right here we got Latoya. Latoya said that's why it's very important to communicate. Yes, thank you. You bet. It's ahead, important girl. to what? 
is it, that's why it's important for you to communicate. You have to talk. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotta talk. Yeah. Not the subliminal messages. Not the camouflage. Not the oh she on a guest. Not the no. You need to be direct, you know straight, and forward. Mean. Yes. And, a lot, and then you may think that things may come off me because if you stand in your head, but even if something is mean or rude or disrespectful, you can't, it's all, it all depends on your delivery and how you say it. It's not what you say, it's how, how you say it. Because yeah. you can say some mean shit in a nice, sincere way. Yes. And you'd be you like, hey, you be like, you mean my or like, you be second guessing like, um, hold on, should I be offended or... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so we got here, what we have here. Some people can't deal with the fact that a person um a person is in the relationship. Absolutely. A lot of a lot of people can't. First of all, the baby that some baby daddies or some baby mamas can't deal with the fact that you're in a relationship. Your exes, daddy. Your exes from your peers relationship. Mm-hmm. That you made it before, can't they? They are hate the fact that you moved on but for some reason. It seems like in their mind, it's like, well, she not with me, she's not with nobody, right? And that's not true. Right. So, please, any fellas and women that have that mindset, testing public yeah. announcement that's not true. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm over here singing, let it go. <laughs> and then we got here, Lat- Latanya said, communication is very important. It is very important. That's, that's the only way you won't be able to interact and be able to communicate to relay and to rely on what the person that you need to tell and vice versa. What the person will also know what you're thinking because ain't nobody no mind reader in this building. Yep. Like, even though, you know, people, you know, tap into their yeah, psychics, but we, all of us ain't that. I'm not a medium. I'm not a psychic. I need you to tell me what's going on. If your left arm hurt, you need to let me know that because I can't feel your pain. Right. But before you <laughs> talk about ouch all day. Say yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Say or yeah. listen to this with the insecurity people too. You'll sit there, you know something wrong, right? And then you be like, hey, hey, what's up? Is something wrong? Is something wrong? And they be like, nah, I'm all right. Ain't no, nothing wrong. No one else be all right. No one they got something to talk about. Hmm. Yes. Me off. And then it's like, then you, then you, then you, then it's like the energy kind of get even thicker. And you be like, okay, I know I asked this question, but I want to do it one more time mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. to know and show that I care. Yes. Hey, babe, you sure? Is everything all right? <laughs> you okay? like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> At that point, I'd be like, fuck it. I don't do no Exactly. Exactly. Right here, you sit there, you, you want to sit in that corner and be upset every man? You do that. I'm going to go over here and do what I got to do. Exactly. And that's why I also said this. See, you say, fuck it. I'd be like, you know what? Don't say I didn't fucking ask because I did. Ask what? Ask it again. <laughs> okay, so now you done pissed me off. So, so what you say, Ashley, after you ask a couple of times and they don't you say nothing? See, <laughs> I'm a little different because I'm so curious with a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to keep asking until I get an answer. Unless a person just say, yo, mm-hmm. leave me the fuck alone. You're making me even matter. Like, shit like that, and I'll, like, leave mm-hmm. you alone. But if you just keep saying, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm more of an intimate person, so I'm going to come you over here. Up. I'm going I'm to be cuddle, cuddle buddy with you <laughs> until I get my answer to find out what's really wrong. I'm different. Oh, I don't be like, oh, fuck you. trying to smother the answer out of him and shit. Yup, I right. sure like, like, I'm going to be kissing all good. over your face until I get an answer. Cause I, I, See, I, I always get an answer. Like that no more. I think the older I get, I ain't got that much time. Because I feel like we are two adults. If I notice that the energy is off and there's something wrong with you, I'm asking you. I'm asking you what I'm asking you try. If I ask you the third time, possibly I will ask you the third time. That's it. Trust and believe. I'm not asking again. Nope. 
Oh, so, I'm different. I'm gonna make sure my baby okay. I'm gonna keep on asking. But I am making sure to do it. You you okay? Okay? You you me tell me what the hell. Oh, because I'm the type. I always get an answer. Now, come on. You oh, said that because you be throwing them big old kitties up in there. Like, oh, I be throwing. I be throwing this. I be throwing the ass. I be throwing everywhere. Okay. No. Throw so that ass in a circle. Throw that ass in a circle. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, because by the time you guys you get finished doing that, now y'all laying there have the pillow talk, and they're gonna tell you what's going. Like, babe, you was you was flirting with the guy in the store, and I feel like you was going overboard. And then I'll be like, "Well, damn, you flirt a lot too. So what the fuck? I didn't even notice I was flirting. So that's how stuff like that's how you do that. But I'm mm. definitely gonna get my answer. I'm gonna get my answer. I'm not gonna get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen. See? Oh well. Mm -hmm. You mad? I'm mad. Get glad. Oh well. Oh no, I don't do that. That's <laughs> abandonment. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's <laughs> abandonment. I can't other feelings. No. Oh, I no, did not no, no. make that man tell me what's wrong with him. He has to. When you comfortable and you want to be mature enough to have this conversation, then we can talk about it. I'm not going to sit up here and try to make you tell me something because obviously exactly. you're not telling me. So, oh well. Exactly. I'm but there's somebody that me. actually agree with Ashley in the comments. Felicia said, I agree with Ashley because if they keep it in too long, a day or two. Hold on. First of all, what? Yep. It do become an excuse. <sighs> yes. Now that's yeah, like, like, why you keep it right now? Like, you gotta go home when you ain't talk to me because that energy is messing up my whole flow in my house. Sorry, no, 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 no. And if that's I why you need to ask you get the answer. Nah, because Cause she you bring said unnecessary drama into the next day. You never supposed to go to sleep mad at each other. At no, other. you don't. You don't. However, if I'm asking you two to three times. And you now don't want to talk about it. I'm going to sit there and say, please do not say I've been asking. Or I end up may say, if I really truly care about the motherfuckers know this, because some people I don't give a fuck about, but if I truly care, I'd be like, when you ready to talk, let I'm me know. I'm here. Right. But I'm not going to be doing, I'm not putting my, my titties and my booty in. I'm not doing you know. all <laughs> Okay, I'm serious. Because listen, because when we, if I'm doing that, if I'm doing that, I want to fuck your problems away. Let's just have sex then. Fuck. Okay, at that point. <laughs> but she said that if you keep it in too long, a day or two is going to become an explosion. Exactly. So I guess y'all sit there and y'all put y'all booty and circle it around and titty so it won't. Nah, you really got to pretty much console your, your significant other. You don't just have them sit. Because let me tell you, even though a person going to tell you over and over and over again that they fine, ain't nothing wrong, deep down inside, they really want to tell you what's wrong. It's just that they ain't gather up enough information yet to sit or enough pride. To sit there and tell you what's actually bothering them, but they really want to tell you. Right. So when they ready to tell me, I'll be there to listen. Exactly. See, thank you, Toya. Thank you. We are this is it's a rap sort thing. Toya said, say? nah. Toya Toya said, I get it, Kwa, because we both grow. Exactly. I have a child already. Mm -hmm. I'm not your mother, I'm your woman. I'm not gonna if baby I you. ask you what's wrong, and I'm first of all, you should care about the fact that I'm sensing that there's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's one. So give me a gold star for Parker right there. Give me another gold star for me asking you. Then if you say nothing, give me two more gold stars because I may ask you two more times. No. But if you don't want to talk about it, I'm gonna leave it alone and be like, I right, don't say I didn't ask you or I didn't try to come to you, but I see it. If I see it, I feel it was going on. And then but you if you also say too, wrong, then I'm gonna sit there and say, All right, come to me when you're ready to talk because I'm no. here. Because you also too have the people like me for my Aquarius, we can relate. 
when we like, you know, the millennials, or something, like, like, you know, somebody do something to us. What? You see an Aquarius? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, my baby. <laughs> um, feel it towards something. We sit and we think about what we're going to do next. We think about what we're going to say. So you have some people who really don't be ready to tell you what yeah. your problem is at that given moment. Like mm -hmm. you really need to sit that down is a and, for think you all day. and think about what they're going to say and how they're going to say it. And then and when they ready, then they'll come back to they'll you. Come and you talk to what, you. This is what was bothering me. Or this mm -hmm. is why I was upset. Or this is, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, really so I definitely like, agree with you on that because what you just said, because it all depends on the person that you're dealing with. Because even me dealing with Aquarius, that actually got me to actually create more patience with them because mm -hmm. with them, they are not immediately responders. Right. They are more logical thinkers and like, okay, I don't think of how I'm going to say it, what words I'm going to use, how yes. I'm going to deliver it. Um, it's like everything is like systematic. It's like right. how to fill in the approach, how to, it's like everything. Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, are we putting the whole show? Like, just tell me. But that's not them. Right. So, I right, will fuck them Aquarius. Let's talk about how Leos are because we don't care your ass how we <laughs> feel. Right? We, don't we, don't care. we don't care how we present it to you. We gonna be like, you know what? Yo, give me a motherfucking call. Holla at me. You know, like we 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 gonna we gonna well, talk about this shit right me. here, right now. You gonna hear it. That's how us Leos are. We ain't about to and oh, we ain't got the patience Leo. to be yeah. sitting around trying to worry about how long it's going to take for an Aquarius to gather up their goddamn thoughts. <laughs> All right, and when you first start, don't say it. Tell you, man. I know, dude. You can't, no. You, I can't let you get that. You can't say fuck Aquarius. I got too many Aquariuses around me. Thank you. Listen, I can't. Yeah, right. yeah. patience for that. Like, and that's, the the thing. And that's why I said the main key Aquarius really had me yeah. tap into my patience yeah. because me dealing with one for five years, me being born by one, my sister is one, my <laughs> Jesus, my grandfather is <laughs> one, <laughs> my son is one. You know, I'm girl. Yeah. All my hands, both of my hands, I got nothing but so it's like being around them, they will you lift it. it. They will make me back into that shit. And even my friends from time be like, Mom, patience. Don't rush. I'm like, shut up. Yeah, like that song, don't rush. Mm-mm. And then he needed with him. When I be wanted to, I just say I just did something wrong with him. I knew that something wrong was the energy change. I'm like, hey, Faye, what's up? You want to talk about it? Are you okay? He be like, I'm like, once he give me that, or he just give me some type of like a distance, mm -hmm. I'm like, he don't want to talk about it right now. But trust me, when they ready, he comes in that room, we and he be like, you. all right, mom, we gonna you know you. what? I got this dilemma. I got this situation. I need your advice. Or he just comes scratching over the bed. When he scratch over the bed and get on my bed, or he lay over me, I already know. It's time to talk. I'm with my cancer. I'm with my cancer, Felicia. My cancer, Felicia, and with the, my Pisces, Sh Shatoya. I'm yo, I'm with them all day on this because she said I don't have time for y'all to be thinking all day. Think at work. That's right. Cause you won't let me know what the fuck going on now. And my Pisces Shatoya was like, um, I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want and how I want, and I don't care about feelings. And that's how Leo's are. We gonna let y'all asses know. Like, hold the fuck up. Let me tell you what you did that got right. me mad. Let me tell you what you just did. You disrespectful. That's us all day. See, and, and I understand. I, I agree with my cousin because me as a Sagittarius, the older I get, I don't have no room to sugarcoat anything. And I think probably I've been like that all the time. I'm straight shooter, pow pow. I right. am. Pow, pow. I think Crystal say on here, she was like, Crimea, have some feeling, have some emotional, get, get some care. I do. But it's like, 
How much? If you see that I'm here, nigga, that means I care. Hey, yo, <laughs> Kwa, look at what Crystal wrote. Wasn't we just talking about this earlier today about North and South? Crystal was like, I just hate when niggas send subliminal messages like quote and rap lyrics. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We, hit it. we were just talking about this earlier. Yeah. That subliminal shit. No, you talk to us straight point blank, period. You let us know mm -hmm. what it is. We don't quote shit. We don't, we don't. Talk around the bend. We don't. And that's no. something we were saying because no. people from the South, they sit there, they do get subliminal messages. But people up here, we like straight shooters. I'm sorry. Right. You got to let me know what's up. Because I ain't got time to be thinking about what you said and how I'm going to work around. No. Yeah. Let me know what's up. Now, how people is in PA, IA? How they are in PA? To me, then I'm going to start throwing stuff. Because I told you, and you ain't want to listen to me, and you ain't want to try to work it out with me. So now I'm going to start stubbing your motherfucking ass, because then you'll listen to me. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, is the people in PA, because you know PA is still up north, but for some reason, I kind of think, I kind of, I kind of be thinking sometimes PA is like a little bit of country. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> wow. They are. I don't know. So are they straight shooters, or are they subliminal people? Girl. Listen, every in between, I like it. Really, see, I can't. You can't. I, I don't know. I say it's the person, it depends on the person. The person you have, it's really a mixture of both. Like, it'd be people who throw subs all fucking day on Facebook or on any social media, and then you have people who, you know, be straight straight up. So, it's really a mix of people, honestly. Because, really, I feel like in like the part of PA that I'm in. It ain't but it's all a bunch of people from either New York, New Jersey, or Jersey. Philly, or from down south. Gotcha. You. Like this many people from down south. Everybody else yeah. be from New York or Jersey. Mm hmm Okay, so, so they basically majority of straight shooters then. Yeah, they no straight shooters. Here. Exactly. But listen, and that's crazy that Crystal said that. Right. Let me find out she was listening to our talking. conversation. Woo, let me find out we said the government sat there and leaked our whole conversation. I know, right? With them damn iPhones. Okay, look, don't be surprised. Uh-huh. They be listening. Let's see, bro. We also different episode. You say what? I said they be listening and they be watching. But that's a combo for a different episode. But yeah, so then we got um for your same period. I really don't care about feelings at all. Cause when I'm trying to be nice, you want to be all mad, nigga. <laughs> you had a chance. You had a chance to speak. Yo, now, now hear hear my mind. Oh no, not just hear my mind. Hear my motherfucking mind. Exactly, and that's how I be feeling. Yo, I think the reason why I feel that way because I think I've been nice from when I was a teenager to my early late twenties and by my thirties, I'm like I ain't got time for no more. I'm too motherfucking old for this. I ain't got time. My kids, I got a whole <laughs> night to be on, and I'm not trying to have another child. Mm -mm. No. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, everybody's different. You know? Yeah, that's true. That is so true. And then Sierra said, I'm a Capricorn. And if I got something on my mind, I'ma say it. Take it out. Well, say, take it out. You want take it, take it how you how want you it. Want take it. But that's how I feel. I period. feel period. Exactly. 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 So it looks like the Aquarius is, is only the slow boat um people. <laughs> Y'all well, don't say own, okay. See, don't y'all belong on your like, own yellow boat. <laughs> no, see, don't take it as like we're not going to say. Because trust me, if we fuck up way right then and there, we gonna say that shit. Like, we, yes. don't get it fucked up with us holding back what we gotta say. But the real thing we to say, oh, trust me, we gonna motherfucking say it. Okay, <laughs> but it's more so on if it's something that like can cause an argument or something that's petty or something that doesn't need to be like said at the fucking moment, then okay, sure, yeah, I'm gonna think about it, whatever. But if it's something that I already been thought about and I already was like waiting for you to bring up or waiting for you to ask me and I already have to say, 
Bitch, I'm going to say that shit. Okay, because you had already waited a whole year for us to bring it up. <laughs> well, see, no, because that goes when you ask me what's wrong. If you ask me what's wrong and something bothering me, okay, example. If we go to the store or whatever and you don't buy me something or whatever, some petty little dumb shit. And you know I've been asking you for this shit all fucking week or whatever, and you had the money to get it and you didn't get it for me. And then you come and see me and you say, "Oh, babe, what's wrong?" I'm gonna tell you right then there. You didn't give me what the fuck I wanted to get. <laughs> but if it's something like after the store closed and all that shit, see the thing is, the like, are people that they 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 if they could eliminate arguments, they are not arguments to people. Right. So when I say that they're systematic thinkers and logical thinkers, right. intellectual thinkers, right. they think All because right. we are not people. turning this to the Aquarius show. No, please. I'm just saying, listen, because I'm trying to, girl, I have all of them around me, girl, I, can, I study right. them, I know them. So my thing is, I'm sitting here saying that they do that because they are not argumentative people. So right. whatever they can do to not because we come to make an argument, the they are not going to argue with you. Okay. Right. We All right. Be gentle. Ah, and ah, 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 Any Leos in the building? I love Cancers. I love um <laughs> Libras. I love my Cancers and my Libras, oh, honey. Geez. Yo, she really can't stand a business. No, no, I really can't. I don't even want to, because come on now. Nobody ain't got all day, all the patience in the world to be fucking with an Aquarius. I like Pisces because they jump right in, right along with me. See, see, oh my God. We take yeah. all, honey. We be like, oh, you want to come with me? Strap up the belt, strap up the seatbelt, and we on for a ride for the next 10 years. See, and that's the thing with y'all, the Leos and the Pisces. Y'all jump right in. Right. So I don't even enjoy the ride, enjoy the moment. Y'all yep. don't even try to test it to see the, the collect the data. It, data. Collect the data. It. Collect the data. Because if you collect the data, you eliminate a lot of hurt. Please. Yep. You yep. eliminate a lot of hurt. Just no, saying. You're so quick to jump, you don't even look. You just jump. Now we 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 jumping in <laughs> at the same time. Why well, waste time? Come on now. See God, they they be see diving out this motherfucker. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> they be at the they be at the they be at the Olympics on a diving board. <laughs> okay, yes we do, like honey. Yes, y'all even do. wait for the gun to go off. If you was going to give that Leo uh, a a nine point eight. <laughs> <laughs> But if you don't take it how you want, how they want to, they're going to be, they're going to be. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but Aquarius be giving me in, um insecurity, insecure vibes. No, oh. that's, that's the insecure, no, that's the, that's the Aquarius that that's you hard. Are. That's hard. 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 So they if are. You get that from an Aquarius. They're not a true Aquarius because you will never know. You will never know how an Aquarius is feeling, thinking, or nothing just from looking at us. We no, really because y'all take so long to make up y'all mind on what you want to do. That's insecurity to me. No, nah, <laughs> insecurity. It's just us trying to be nice, really, honestly. And no, well, it's just a argument. joke. Moving on. I'm sick of the Aquarius <laughs> shit. To be honest. <laughs> Anyway, right, maybe, maybe you get maybe find another one. Get one, not find another. Let another one come and hunt you, and that would be a better one. Cause mm -hmm. that I'm virgin, good. I love my Pisces, Libras, and Cancers. I'm good. That, that virgin that you have need to be thrown in the trash. I had I <laughs> had no Aquariuses before. I, only as friends. I've never I've, I've never dated one. I've I've had friends. That's about it. Oh, that's surprising because normally even with friendship, they are amazing. Nah, we can I don't, I don't, I don't really fuck with them like that. <laughs> but yeah, so. It's okay. We still love you. I know. Thank <laughs> you. But I still love my Libras. Are. That's how loving we are. I still love everybody my who us. And my <laughs> uh -huh. I can't speak too much on Libras. I can't. I think Crystal is a Libra. Yeah, they I'm my best friend. friend. If Libras are if, if Crystal is a Libra, then she's I think Crystal is a Libra or Virgo. I'm not too sure. Crystal confirmed. I love a Virgo. 
Crystal, oh, confirm God. that for me because I don't want to be incorrect. Libras are my best friend. <laughs> Along with so cancer. Do we have any questions? Yes, yeah, so do you guys have any questions for us? Q&A time. Q&A time. What is the tea? Let us dish into your tea. Let us put the sugar, the honey, and the sweet and low up in that motherfucker. Because okay. we want to know what's going on in your mind. If you guys have a question from any previous shows that we have, or either just something that happened in your life from the last time we was on, dish to dish, share. Let us know. Let us be a, your advisor. <laughs> okay. So, you, see, you may get three different um opinions from it, but just go whatever one's best for you. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Crystal did say she's a Libra. Go Libra. <laughs> I only like Libras because of Crystal. That's the only one. That's the only one. <laughs> well, my sister Tanya is a Libra. Okay. Oh, you know what she is. So listen, look. See, I don't even I only know Libras because of my family. Other than that, I don't know no other Libras from outside. No, that's a lie. If no, because what's the name birthday just passed too though? The birth three birth we had we had our we had Irene, Taquan, and um and who else? Your best friend is a Libra. What's her name? And I'm not say fat too. I might say fat too, right? So oh, yeah, I love the Libras. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, that's it. That's and, and my best friend. Honestly, that's family. So that's not even outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> best friends are not considered outside. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know no other Libras for somebody it's else from family. outside. Other than that, I only know close people with family. That's to me, that's Libra. Other than that, I don't know nobody like, oh, yeah, that, I met somebody but like, oh, you yeah, girl, I'm a Libra. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Right, that part. Okay, so we got a question. I believe. What would you do if? What would you do if your son father a girlfriend? Oh shit! Don't like you because she know her dude still. Woo! I will fuck him. I will fuck him just to make her mad. Yo. Wait, I'm about okay, to read wait, this one more time. Ahead. I'm about to read this one more time. <laughs> What would you do if your son, father, girlfriend don't like you because she know she know she know her dude, which they see her dude still wants you. So basically, <laughs> so basically, what it is that I guess I guess the um the father, her baby father, have a whole new girlfriend, and she's mad because the baby daddy still want the baby mama, you know, still feeling some type of way. <laughs> So what would we do? What would you do? <laughs> I will fuck him. I will fuck him again because it would be in her best interest to be friends with me. Why why would you not like me? This is like crazy. I'm not gonna do nothing to cross you unless you do something to make me mad. You don't like me because what? So now exactly. I'm gonna make her even more mad and I'm gonna fuck him. Exactly. So now I'm gonna give you a reason not to like me. Ooh, what about you, I am? See, this is hard. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, they go to she has let you she has feelings. Feelings. Back and thinking. Right. <laughs> if she has feelings for like if she has feelings for him too, then I mean, I would tell him. Like at this day, if y'all still have feelings for each other, then make work the shit out. But if you don't got feelings for him and you don't want to be with him, then I mean, at the end of the day, you don't owe her no loyalty. Sure, so don't. It's not like you have to sit up there and tell and explain yourself to her, but you don't have to do that. At the end of the day, that's something that she's gonna have to get over within herself. Yep. But then again, if you're entertaining it, then that's something that's you know something completely different. Because I feel like if you're entertaining it, then you should drop the bomb to her. Like, yeah, you know, we still be doing this and that, ah, uh ah, -uh, and let her handle how she wanna handle it. But if you're not entertaining it and you really don't want him, then you don't have nothing that's like, there's nothing for you to say. Like, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. this is how you're going to feel. Point blank, period. And okay. if you still want to be with him, then you go ahead and let him know. Like, mm -hmm. okay, well, sis, it's because guess what? I want to be with him. And at the end of the day, you got it. Like, you know, he's going to drop you for me type shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So our cousin say she's petty as hell. She's going to entertain it. I knew she was going to say that. 
<laughs> so, not a take on it in regards to what I'm going to do because I think I'm a little I see the thing is I'm a little I'm a little like oh I care but then I don't give a fuck so me I'm going to make sure that bitch continue to have something to motherfucking keep hating and don't like me about because bitch you don't like me for no reason you don't like me because either he must be saying something to you and must be big up to you and you feel some type of way and I was the best thing he ever had and he must be sharing this shit with you and now you feel in some type of way because you're not the ultimate image of what he's describing of me to you. So guess what? That's your motherfucking problem. So mm-hmm. go get a counselor, get a counselor and you go figuring it out. But mm-hmm. every time I come around you, I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm going to serve you the face. I'm going to serve you all the body bots, and I'm going to make you even more mad. Because I'm going to continue to be me. And I, and, and I won't even entertain it. I will just entertain it with kindness by making sure I serve that bitch with nothing but the best of me. Because for some reason, I ain't got to say nothing. And I ain't got to do anything because nine times ten, you don't know behind the door. He's probably bigging the shit out of me up with this bitch. That's the reason right. why she probably hit me. Right, because he continuously talk about her too, honey. Exactly, exactly. And so when is- he has to be strong enough to say, well, you keep talking about this bitch, so go be with that bitch. Exactly. That would be something I would say. Right. I'd be like, you know what? Best of luck to y'all. God bless. Have fun. Yeah. Exactly, and don't even make it. Don't even make it your issue, because it's not. Right. It's not your issue. That's something with the finally and her or them or whatever's going on. The conversation they having mm-hmm. behind her that he's saying or not saying or whatever it is, gotta be something good because he she's mad and right. you don't know me not to like me. Right. So guess what? Like I said, I'm gonna keep serving her body and be my face. So every time I come, I'm gonna get like, yeah, bitch. Yes. Right. I'm gonna grab my two boys. Like, come on, go. (laughs) (laughs) You gonna be extra, pretty much. You gonna be extra. (laughs) Listen. (laughs) So, um, one viewer said, "Right, because I don't want him." But if you if you if you if you're pressed over him, shorty, I'm really gonna make you hate. For a real reason. Right. Who said that? You know that was our cousin Sh- Shatoya. Oh, Other okay. than Kanye. Oh. <laughs> yes. I know that. But my true. thing is, maybe that's what it is. She is probably she probably ugly as hell too. Sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> no, but sometimes it don't always. Sometimes the pretty ones be um like. Yeah, hell yeah. It may be be the pretty one real insecure. Yes. Yeah. And you be like, damn, what's wrong with you, mom? Go get some new new somewhere else. But whatever. (laughs) I ain't want to say the whole word. Yo, you don't deliver right if you don't say the whole word. (laughs) Okay. But y'all know what I meant. But yeah, anybody else have a question? Anybody got some tea to drop in my cup? You know, because we want to know what's going on. We'll take another question from the QA session and give it to us, baby, because we want to know what's in your tea. Give us your business. We want to know. We want to okay. Okay. listen. That is we want to be all up in it. <clears throat> So, but if no one has a question, no one have any other questions to give us during a Q&A session, this is the session and this is the time where basically we like to shout out. I am, you will actually do this part in honor. Once, oh shoot, did I just do that? <laughs> so yes, yeah, yeah, so basically we're gonna be, you know, at the end of each episode now, we're gonna be shouting out small business owners. Um, so to definitely, you know, if you've seen our post and you like, comment, or you like, follow our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, we shout you out. So the one business that, or the one business owner that's done all three is Express Yourself Co. 
Her Facebook, her business Facebook is Express Yourself Co. Her Instagram is Express Yourself Co. Underscore. Mm-hmm. And her website is www.expressyourselfcompany.com. And she's like yes. a lot of cute stuff from like. Yeah, she was like, saying, you know, I love me a good team. So. Yes. I love you. <laughs> stuff. So, y'all definitely make sure y'all check her out. Ashley, her stop. Because <laughs> why'd you have to say that again? <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> But yeah, so but he does. Just in case three people in the back didn't hear me. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. But he was, yeah. <laughs> I could not be telling you. I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> I'll tell you. But yes, y'all make sure y'all go check her out. Check out her stuff. <laughs> and follow her on Facebook and like her page. Absolutely. And follow and she do got some cute stuff. Like seriously. And I and I definitely and need I to express yourself co. I need yourself express yourself express yourself co. I definitely need you to bring um, you know, send us some um some t-shirts because we love a good tea. So <laughs> me, Aye, and Ash, we would definitely love to have a good night of tea. We definitely yeah. win on the show. So please, you know, DM us. We will send you our ad or our my, the show address or where you can send it at because we definitely would love to represent your brand. So okay. you guys make sure you check her out for show. Yeah. But yeah, so other than that, you know, we love to shout out to Black Business. We gotta support each other. But other than that, we want to make sure we um you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you did. Listen, we love to have you guys. We love to interact with you guys. It's always amazing on Tuesdays and Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Actually, what the update is going to be is actually since we are actually going to change the time to 9.30. Uh, we do not want to be able to be disrespectful to our supporters, our viewers. We feel like that will give us all three more times so we make sure we're present and here on time to give you guys what you actually come here every single Tuesday and Thursday for to get the lab, the entertainment, the tea, the real, the candidness, the straightforward, not what it is that you want, but what you need from us. So we want to make sure we deliver that all all the time with you guys each and every time and on time. So it's now going to change from Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we do again apologize for me, Aya and Ash for our tardiness. Listen, as we develop our show and as our show continue to get more and more broad, technical difficulties happen, but we are masters at this, not new to this. But you know, we do thank you guys for actually standing there and keeping it and being there with us and understanding. <laughs> we do love you guys, but please do not forget to like our Facebook page. Don't forget to follow our Instagram page. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube as well as our Apple Podcast and our Spotify. And also for the Black businesses that do want to get a shout out and want a shout out on our show on Tuesdays and Thursdays nights, the three requirements is for you to be able to like, follow, and subscribe to all three of our pages, and you have to permanently stay like and follow and subscribe to our pages because we do appreciate the support, and we hope that you respect the fact that we're shouting you out on our platform. And also, do not forget, if you love what we do and love what we bring, it doesn't hurt to plant a seed. So check out our PayPal and bless us with that seed. And also, if you guys want to be a guest on our show, please, Email us, DM us on Instagram or Facebook Messenger, mm-hmm. um, or email us at pillow talk with the tea at gmail.com. We would love to have some good content, some good topics. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to be able to be in tune with our viewers. Anybody that would want to be a guest, please, or anyone that you know, if it's that not you, anyone that you know well, that, that should be in here, let's go. Drop that key. We would love to hear it. Absolutely. Also, anonymous pillow talk letters. If you guys have any issues, any problems, and you want to be anonymous, but you want I will take, please drop that T letter, the pillow talk letter T, and at pillow talk at gmail.com. And we do appreciate you guys, and we do love you. And again, thank you for 
Thank you. For supporting us. Thank you for tuning in on Tuesday with Thursday. And we will see you again back here next week, next Tuesday week. at 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We love you. You guys continue to be safe. Be safe. Wash your hands. <laughs> Don't forget to make Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>